Good day, y'all. So a couple of weeks ago, I, I installed my running boards on my 2021 Toyota Highlander. Looks pretty sweet. And as um, my kids start to use these running boards more often, uh, I started to uh, get some anxiety uh, about uh, them getting in and out of the car on their own. Let me take, let me show you here. Hey, Cam, come here. Can you? Uh, can you uh, get into the car using the run board cam? Hmm? Let me hold this for you. That's how you do it? Yeah, okay. Now step back down. Yeah. All right. Thank you, my handsome little model. So as you can see, uh, the anxiety that I get, it's actually... Uh, when they step in and out, they ha sometimes uh, they have a tendency to actually step on the 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 door paint, the the, sil uh, the door sill right here onto the the paint, and so to alleviate that anxiety, uh, I decided to buy some of this um, 3M Vivid um, clear paint protection film. I got this on Amazon like 20 22 bucks. And so I'm going to show you how I'm going to install this so that way I don't have that anxiety. So if they accidentally uh, step on the door sill and they have a rock on their shoe or something like that, then um, it's going to be pro uh, protected and I don't have to worry about um, the thought that they're going to scratch up the paint. Um, this, the size that I bought here, it is four inches by 96. So I kind of did a rough estimate. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking 16 to 18 inches per door is what you'll need. So 96 inches should be plenty of length uh, once you cut it uh, to fit. So I'll go ahead and show you what I do moving forward. So I already prepped the, uh, the pieces that I'm going to install. And so the back portion uh, for uh, the, the rear door sills, uh, these I measured out to 11 inches. The ones on the front doors I measured out to 15. Um, I didn't want to go longer than that because if you go too long, it's going to um, have this tapered edge right here where I didn't want to run the risk that uh, it wouldn't overlay all the way and then it would actually overlap on each other or, or make, uh, like make some bubbles and things like that. So I just did it where it's enough where there's the indentation right here and there's an the indentation right here and this would be perfect to cover. So the four inches, perfect to be able to seat this all the way up here, and then a little bit over to overlap over the side. So I have my uh, microfiber uh, cloth towel right here. This came with the, the 3M kit, so you can um, press the sides down. I got uh, two water bottles here. One is just regular water. The other one um, has some uh, soap inside of it. So first thing we're gonna do, is going to clean this area. So here's the clean water. I'm just gonna clean this off like this. And make sure you squirt under here the under this plastic seal as well because there's some grime down here. You want to spray that out. And I'm just using my my hand to run the water off. The car is pretty clean since so I just got it washed. I'll do that again. Going down there already. Now let's take my cloth, wipe it dry. Alright. Alright, once that's done, then this is where you'll prep it with the soapy water. You're going to create that slip solution. See all that uh, suds? The more suds, the better here. And then you get your hands nice and sudsy as well, filmy. And when I did cut mine, I tapered off the corners so that way it makes it harder for this to peel off over time. So go ahead and peel this back. Come on, baby. Peel that 
off. And then you'll just spray, get both sides of them really lubricated. Once it's nice and lubricated up, go ahead and just seat this in its position. For me, the end here, it's going to align with the, the four lines right here. That's where my guide is. So I'm gonna set it in. I'm gonna push this as far up as I can. And then just basically use finger pressure initially to force out. water underneath and if you need to reposition it just spray some more suds on it and just redo this process until it sits right for you then once it's seated in the in the area that you like that's where you will use this handy dandy the deal just force out the rest of the water underneath. process at all. Just gotta keep your eyes on any air bubbles and just force them out or if there's any water bubbles that's where you want to force them out. And as you can tell it tapers down and it covers it perfectly right over here. Wipe that down and we're almost done baby. I'll use this and start to force out any other air bubbles I see. <laughs> Make sure you get the top parts right here because this is where there's water that you can't see. Scoot it into the place. came unseated up here. There was enough slip solution in there. <laughs> and there's a little bit right here. See that? Bam! So now, you can barely tell, but the strip is from here to here. <laughs> and that's how you can protect your door seals. So that way, if you have your rug rats coming in and out of the car, once in a while, they're, they are going to uh, accidentally step on here and just eases the anxiety. Hey, Cam, you got your shoes on? Not yet? Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can help demonstrate uh, for our audience you c coming down from the from the car. Well, I need my shoes. Oh, you need your shoes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Are we looking for the pay? Yep. Step step on down. Are you too, Gemma? Okay. Come on down. What? What's that? Okay, I'm gonna go back. And there you have it, folks. Easy peasy. $25 gives you some peace of mind. What well, last thing I want is to have some big old scrape because they had a big rock in their shoe and they accidentally stepped on the door sill. So this is one way to ease my anxieties. Alright, so just in case you're curious uh, what this looks like at the and the 
on the front seats and the front door sills. You can tell right here, or, or maybe you can't, but this is where the film begins. Right there. I made it aligned with this marker right here. And then the 15 inches runs all the way down to about here. So hopefully that helps you. Um, I didn't want to go any higher because I've, as you can tell, if I've made it longer, chances are you know, this bend up right here would cause some issues with, um, it, even though this is pretty malleable, I didn't want to run, run the risk of having to, to worry about that. So I, I just kept it at 15 inches. All right, y'all. Take care.